Hey everyone, uh, so just a quick video. Um, I have a few customers who've asked me on various occasions, uh, little things, uh, certain toolbars disappear and they set things up, etc. So um, something to be mindful of your workspace, uh, where your toolbars are, um, you know, as well as the windows, etc. Um, this all belongs to the workspace configuration. So if I close E3 and open it back up, my panel window will disappear because uh, by default I have it out and if I made any changes it go back to the original so something just to be mindful of if I have for example uh, like this example my panel window uh, if I want my panel window to be docked in here and stay here permanently uh, I just have to make sure to go view workspace configuration and hit save uh, to do my workspace now I recommend doing two things I recommend leaving the default and creating a new one and in my case I'm just going to say twin screen the reason why I do this is, is uh, quite simple um, <clears throat> if you have a situation where you have a laptop and you will remove the additional monitor occasionally if you have a single screen default as well as an active twin screen default if you ever need to um, unplug and you have certain things on separate windows it will bring it back and I'll show you the example so if I save this one uh, and for example I have my component tree sitting on my second monitor which you guys can't see at the moment if I uh, unplugged uh, my screen at the moment I would be left with what you can see and naturally the other window is not sort of where it needs to be so I can simply hit view workspace configuration I can hit my default and hit restore and everything will bring back to where it was prior saving in this case the panel window will disappear um, because I didn't have that um, but that's just an example. The other thing just to be mindful uh, and I recommend everyone do, does it is to make sure that is unchecked. Um, what this does is if you have this checked any changes you do once you close the application will save it. Um, the reason why I recommend having this unchecked is if you uh, like me occasionally I have stuff um, you know I may have messed up and and I might have put this in a certain location which I cannot find um, you know your I guess your first instinct is to close the tool and I open it back up um, but naturally if you have that setting checked it will unfortunately save that location and it gets a little bit more tricky however if you go view uh, workspace configuration you can simply just hit restore uh, and I might do my twin screen restore for example and it will bring it back to where it needs to be. Uh, something to be mindful of as well or just something noteworthy. In the odd occasion you've got something um, strange and you've accidentally saved it. Uh, don't stress. Under your user folder, public document, um, there is a Zookin folder. This Zookin folder contains sorry a lie it was under the users um, default app data roaming um, okay sorry it's my username app data sorry yeah, okay so under your username the app data your local um, so your roaming you'll have a Zookin folder which will contain under e3 series in my case version 21 you'll contain the uh, XMLs specifically these four for the workspace um, so if you do make a mistake you can always borrow this from someone else and then you can overwrite your one and then everything will go back to the default location uh, so the, the f uh, again the folder location is under C users your username app data roaming zookin e3 series and then the version that you're running and they'll be sitting there so if you do make a mistake and you accidentally save it uh, you can always revert back to standard and then you can go back uh, just something to be noteworthy for each application um, module it will have a different one so cable schematic have different ones and database editor also has a different workspace so if you save it on your cable uh, make sure to do something similar for your database editor I hope that makes sense any questions just leave us a comment uh, or send an email, anything you need. And thanks for watching, guys.